There's a lot of different strategies you can use to grow your YouTube channel past 1 million subscribers. Mm -hmm. They have grown multiple channels past 1 million subscribers, 2 billion views, and one of the things that they use strategically are giveaways and contests. Now today's video is entirely a giveaway just for you guys. So today's giveaway is for this MacBook Air. And today he's gonna share with you guys behind the scenes of what they did with those and the impact it had on their channel. So you guys can hopefully do the same. It's coming exactly. up. Exactly. Hey guys, my name is Tim Schmoyer. Welcome to Video Creators. We're just here to help you guys grow a YouTube channel, an audience so you can reach them, change their lives with the message that you're spreading. They're reaching billions of people's lives and changing them all the time. Mm -hmm. Maybe not two billion every day, but a ton. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> and uh, and so one of the ways that they've grown multiple channels, Cute Girl Hairstyles, Brooklyn and Bailey, and many others, past one million subscribers, is using contests and giveaways. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm really curious to hear about this myself because this is something that a lot of people do, but they don't see a lot of results, Because and I have opinions about why, but I'd love to hear how did you guys strategically use contests and giveaways? You know, you don't want to use them too often because then, again, the fans start feel like you're just trying to buy attention. It's, it needs to be done more as a reward to the viewer for okay. being a loyal watcher, you know? Okay. And we probably started using them maybe four, four and a half, five years ago. Okay. Is that right? Yeah, about four and a half, five years ago. And it was strategically only to give value back to the, the, the viewer. And the one requirement that we asked them to do is something free, and it was always do an act of service for somebody else. And that's all, that's all we wanted them to do. Now, once they completed that action, there were bonus entries, and that included subscribing to our channel, or if we had a new channel, subscribe to the new channel, or follow us on Instagram. But that one action in the giveaway that we wanted was something that would better the community. Now, it's on your honor. I don't know, but what all one million of them actually went out and did a good service, but even if 20% of them did, that giveaway it. is actually benefiting the world in some way. Yeah. And so they would come and you would have a form on a website or something that they would say, they tell you what they did or they're just like, I helped somebody. We use gleam.io and that allows you to do a custom entry, which is what we use as the first one. Okay. And we put in there, you know, do a good act of service for somebody else. And then when they complete it, they have to answer what they did. Now, again, it's on your honor, but it, if they feel like they have to put an answer in, they feel like there's some degree of accountability. So hopefully they will follow through and do a good act sure. of kindness. So then they had other options they could do, such as subscribing to the channel, mm -hmm. following Yeah, once they do that, it opens up bonus entries. And we tell them that. We're like, there's one thing you have to do. And when you do that, you get bonus entries. We wanted the actual value to us sure. to come in bonus entries. We wanted the real driver to be make a difference, help sure. somebody else. Yeah. And it actually set us apart from a lot of other YouTubers doing yeah. giveaways because their number one thing was like, subscribe to my channel, Yeah. right? And it's all about them. But we, ours was about helping others, which made it seem more altruistic. Sure, yeah. And, yeah. and then the bonus entries were where we gained indirect benefit to the giveaway. And I mean, it's, it's super sweet. I mean, the, the kids are, you know, the things that they say that they're doing to help others are wonderful. And then we also get growth on our other platforms through the bonus entry. So they can do a bonus entry. It could be like subscribe to the channel, mm -hmm. follow on Instagram, yeah. like our Facebook page. Yep comment on a video like basically whatever you want yeah. them to do at that point. Today we are doing a giveaway because we are celebrating Camry launching her channel finally and everyone's so excited and she posts awesome videos. <laughs> and so we are giving away an 11 inch MacBook Air and a wireless mobile projector. There is only one requirement to enter the giveaway and that is you have to be a subscriber of my channel. And we were able to when the girls launched their mascara in May we were able to grow in one month's time in a brand new Instagram from zero to 75,000 followers to be branded for their mascara, which was very helpful in our launch using a giveaway. The main benefit that you guys got then is that like a subscriber from YouTube would come to the contest page and tell them the good action they did and they're already subscribed to the channel so they yes. can do that. But now you're getting that same viewer to follow on Instagram, mm -hmm. like on Facebook. And so it's kind of like you're using the contest to grow all your platforms, getting people from yes. one platform over to another. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and what that does, for example, if we push our audience through a giveaway indirectly in bonus entries to follow an Instagram page, Instagram sees that as an off-platform person that doesn't follow this page, is now following this page, and not only do they follow this page, but so are 10,000 other people. Oh, yeah. They start then exposing that new page, that Facebook page or Instagram page, profile to more people with similar likes. So you're getting, organic, you're, getting. you're getting organic growth yeah. and a push from Instagram 
that you wouldn't have had otherwise. Sure. Okay. How often do you guys run these? Do you run these pretty frequently? Or are they uh, always ongoing? We usually run them once every three months. We don't do okay. them. You don't want to do them too often. We run them for three weeks, so you get a good amount of viewership. You know, the long tail of the video the giveaway goes up in, you're getting some benefit from that. So three weeks time is, a, is about pro perfect for us. And there's a lot of rules on YouTube regarding contests and giveaways that you have to follow in order to stay within their guidelines. Put a link to those down in the description below. You can go check them out. But that's why you guys use a third party service Correct. because it mm -hmm. keeps everything compliant. Clear, without out, you of, yeah, out of the blue is completely yeah. legally safe. Yeah. We collect email addresses through the giveaway. We are upfront about that as well. So it's very, very instrumental. Yeah, just be careful about doing it on your own without having something like Gleam.io. Absolutely. Not sponsored, yeah. but <laughs> Not although sponsored. maybe it will be and I'll update this if it is. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, with so. COPA compliance and everything with kids under 13, you have to be very careful with that kind of stuff. Yeah. As you do things like contests and giveaways, your channel can start growing. And as it grows, it's really exciting at the beginning, but to really get yourself to 1 million subscribers, you gotta really keep that passion going. And believe me, it's easier to lose it than you might think it is. Yes, it is. And we're gonna talk about that in the next, in the next video. Click the video you see on your screen to go to the next episode about how they got to 1 million subscribers. And we'll see you guys over in that next video. See you there. See ya.